Hey friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post effective workouts so we can sweat, sculpt, burn, and transform together. If you're new here, make sure you consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified on all of my latest news and workouts. Today, I'm bringing you a 15-minute ballet-inspired legs and core series, focused on building strong lean legs, abs, and back through graceful yet powerful movements. You don't need any equipment today, so let's go ahead and grab our mats and get moving. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my online fitness studio at embodiment360.com. I'm incredibly thrilled to offer a monthly subscription service where you can enjoy access to my entire video library, including a variety of workout lengths and styles. From low impact cardio, dance and Pilates inspired sculpt, as well as strength and flexibility training. I'd love for you guys to come by and try out the free trial with absolutely no commitment. Hope to sweat and sculpt with you all soon over at embodiment360.com. All right, guys, we are gonna start with our toes tucked. If that's not comfortable for your body, you can absolutely release the toes. Starting in a quadruped position, we'll take an inhale, cat cow. Exhale, round spine. Back through center, lift and hover, and gently lower. Inhale, gaze goes up. Exhale, round spine. Back to neutral tabletop. Lift the shins off the earth, actively pulling the navel into the spine. So we're warming up through the back, warming up through the core. Spine neutral. Lift, scoop, navel to spine, and gently lower. Really undulating through the back. Round and dome. Back through center. Gently hover and release. Going into arabesque with that left leg and draw the knee into the chest. Reach into arabesque, gently actually rotate that leg and the knee pulls into chest. Out with the toe tip, reach and elongate. Knee in, so we really find that core contraction. Reach in opposition, lengthen through the crown of the head. Draw the knee in. Stretch and reach. Beautiful elongated position. And then finding the core as we engage. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, last one. From here, we're coming down into the form on your right. Cross into an oblique crunch. Come into coupe. Attitude lift. Gently come back down. We go into a cross oblique crunch, cross at your ankles, lift, squeeze the derriere, come back down through coupe. So we cross, knee in towards that tricep, in towards that elbow, lift attitude, cross at your ankles. So we're really firing up the obliques, and then we're gonna get into the derriere as we lift into that attitude, squeeze, lower back down gently. Cross, squeeze, we lift, and lower, last one in four, three, hold that last one, let's pulse right here. So we go, pulse, pulse, squeeze it up. <sighs> Exhale and lift, squeeze that derriere. Press and press, we take it four, three, two, last one, extend. We're going to lift into an arabesque right here, take it into a side sweep, Back through center, gently lower. So we take an arabesque, reach into the side, gently come back, and gently tap it down. So we're working hip mobility here. We're also going to work that core as we take that sweep into the lateral sweep out to the side. If you need to, just modify your range of motion. I know not everyone has the hip mobility that I have, so absolutely fine to modify and do what you can. Hold it right there, come down to both forearms, hold it, scoop the navel into the spine, try not to dump into your spine, really zipper up that core. We go squeeze, press, lift derriere, lift it. Beautiful work, go for four, and three, two, excellent work, gently hinge back, sink back for a little tiny stretch. We're gonna go on to our hip on the right side body to go to sideline position, We'll take it into a knee drive front, and then back attitude sweep. 
So if you have beautiful sweeping motion here, we've got the hamstring and derriere working, and then as you drive the knee into the chest, we've got the core working. So we've got those ballet-inspired moves today with our core action as well. Now as you drive the knee into the chest, I really want you to find the exhalation for me. Inhale, exhale. And you can have a gentle hinge with your upper body, just making sure that you're staying very stabilized within the movement. Inhale, so you're pressing that hamstring to the back. You should feel that derriere fire up the hamstring as well. Reach and press. Nice fluidity with the body. Reach. Now from here, we're gonna take it into an inner thigh lift and then coming into a side attitude lift as well. If you want, you can sweep the arm and leg simultaneously. If not, go with the first version that I showed you with the palm down. So we're lifting that knee up into the shoulder joint and we're coming up and out. Reach up, side attitude press. So we're gonna reach, inner thigh shines up to the ceiling, and then lift, so we're working again that oblique. Obliques are working hard in this workout today. Our entire body, right? Those legs as well, and our upper body to hold us up. For four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, from here, bend at your knees. We're gonna take it into an attitude crunch, expand into a turned out bop ma. So we've got the attitude crunch, turned out, but must sweep and press. Squeeze, parallel attitude, and then we turn out the leg for that batma. So we squeeze, elongate. Now stretch that leg, stretch and press. That's it, inhale, exhale. Sweep, stretch through behind the back of the knee here. Crunch. Use the exhalations. Remember to use that breath. Press, squeeze. Exhale, lift up and out of your shoulder joint. So try not to slump into that shoulder. Last one right there. We go immediately to the opposite side. So we take it to the opposite side with that knee crunch. Quadruped. We draw the knee into the chest. And then reach. Draw in. And we exhale. Band it away. So we really come in with the contraction and lengthen the leg away. So there's a slight externally rotated position within the leg as we draw in to the arabesque. Exhale. As you drive the knee in, reach and press. Firing up the derriere, the gluteal, lifting through that bum. Press it. Last one. From here, coming down into that forearm, we go into that cross oblique. Coupe, attitude, lift, back to your coupe. That's it, cross. So you really wanna find the cross action across your midline. So if you don't feel the oblique, really drive it across, really keep that focus. Mind to muscle engagement here. So we've got the oblique working as we drive across, coming back through coupe, we're lifting to that attitude and press. Really depressing the shoulders down here. Press, we lift and lower. Come across and press. Now let's hold right here, hold it. We pulse, little attitude pulse, we lift. Keep and maintain your shape throughout the attitude pulse. Lift, up, leg is turned out here. Breathe it, four, three, two, last one, expand it out. So we lift, tap it down, and come into that side sweep and press. We take it down, center, sweep it side, and press. Take it down, reach it, big sweep to the side, and press. We lower it down. Remember, if you need to modify here, you can absolutely modify the range of motion. Inhale and exhale it out. Press. 
big sweep, control the legs. We're really constantly in control of the leg, not flailing the leg, reach it. Last one right there, hold it, gently come down, hold it, pulse. High arabesque, pulse. That's it, keep engaging your gluteal, keep that focus, up, and lift it. Woo, I'm feeling that derriere burn. Go four, and three, and two. Last one, quick little stretch right here. Inhale, exhale, we come right along into that sideline position on your opposite side, propped up and out of that shoulder joint. We're gonna knee drive in, and then press back, attitude. Exhale, lengthen it back, press. So we've got this beautiful elongated position and reach. Elongate, beautiful port de bras. Port de bras means carriage of the arms, so we're really sweeping and flowing with the action of the arm and leg working simultaneously together. So we've got our minds and bodies working. Coordination here, breathe, exhale. I love ballet inspired movements to integrate into our workouts because we're challenging our body on a different level. Press it. Last one right there, we've got that inner thigh sweep. So we take that inner thigh sweep, and then we move right along into that side attitude. Inner thigh sweep, side attitude lift. So we're going to drive that knee up into the shoulder joint. Up and out, exhale it out. We lift it. Shine your inner thigh up to the ceiling, and then we're gonna lift as much as we can with that knee pressing up in towards the shoulder joint. Inner thigh works here, and then we've got that oblique action for four, three, two. Now from here, we've got that ankle tap crunch, into our side bot ma. Ankle tap, exhale. So we crunch side attitude in parallel and then we turn out the leg. So then the heel shines forward as we bot ma. Exhale. Beautiful, gorgeous work. Exhale, crunch, elongate, lengthen, quick and control it down. So we lift and lower. Press, keep lifting through that shoulder joint. In four, three, two, that's it. From here, we're going to go into a propped up position on our forearms. So we lift up and out, take the legs into tabletop, expand them out, we've got a passe left to right, four, three, go, we take it, passe, Center, other way. Passe, center, open and close. Opposite way, we go right, center, left, center, open and close. So make sure that you're not slumping here. Push up and out, be very proud and broad through your collarbone. Take it, inhale, exhale. Passe, press. Again, working it through the adductors here. We go passe, center, passe. That's it, up and out, lift, press. Inhale, exhale, in four, three, two. Last one, very slowly articulate down, all the way down to your back. Lift the legs up to the ceiling. Take your hands behind the nape of the neck. Externally rotate, we're going to take it cross, open, we lift and lower. So we've got a shanjma, cross, open, lift and lower. Shanjma, cross, cross. So you're wrapping it through those inner thighs, those adductors. We're squeezing and hugging those legs together. Lift the chest and lower. So we're lifting head, neck and shoulders off for that crutch. Exhale, lift and lower. If you need to modify the range of motion of the legs, absolutely fine. Working our hips, 
strength and mobility. Last one here, reach, exhale, lift and lower. Beautiful, lower those legs from here. We're going to take this into a passe bridge. Left leg comes up, we lift. If you can, I want you to hover that derriere the whole time. I know that it's challenging. We've got that knee pulled in to a passe position. Lift, now, if you want an extra amplified challenge, you're going to expand up into the ceiling, extend, passe, firing up the hamstring. The core is also getting work here as well. In the bridge position, in for four, three, two, slowly come down. You've got the opposite side right here. So we take that passe up, toe connects, big toe connects to the side of the knee and press. Firing up to the back of the leg here. Make sure that you're pressing the palms down into the earth. Now, if you want, you've got the option to challenge to level up and press. We extend and lengthen. Reach the toe up to the ceiling, gently lower. Remember, if you can, hover the glutes the entire time. For four, three, two, Last one, slowly coming down from here. We're gonna take the left over the right, flex at your toe tips, and grab to the outsides of the feet from here. So reclined shoelace posture from here. You're pulling the legs away from each other. Ooh, you're gonna feel that in the derriere. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, holding for four, three, two. Now keep those legs crossed as you gently let them sway over to the side body, as you gaze over that shoulder, inhale. Exhale, getting a nice spinal stretch, a nice stretch to the core for four, three, two. Now use your core to lift you back up. You've got the opposite side, flex at your toe tips. Grab to the outsides of the feet here. Inhale, so try not to sort of just hang out here. Make sure that this is an active posture. Really wanna make sure that we're being active within our stretches. Ooh, I am feeling that in the derriere. I hope you guys are as well. That beautiful stretch, we work the glutes, the thighs, the hamstrings, the core, all within that ballet-inspired workout. Pull a little bit further for four, three, Two, last one from here, keep the legs crossed, and then very gently let them fall to the side as you gaze over the opposing shoulder. Breathe, inhale, exhale, feel that open through the chest, through the core, and through the back. Enjoy these stretches, breathe through them, holding for four, three, Two, using your core to gently lift you back up, unwind, take a big stretch, inhale, and then gently release the arms down. If you're looking for more dance and Pilates inspired workouts, be sure to check out my online studio where I offer a variety of workout lengths and styles to keep you feeling strong, fit, and fierce. Head on over to embodiment360.com today to start your free trial. Awesome work, friends, and I hope to sculpt it out with you soon again.